Hi there, it's Pamela Arnois, and welcome to my watercolor live demonstration. Uh, today I'm going to be working on some forsythia, just a group of forsythia. Um, I've been uh, bringing some indoors, and we've been forcing them uh, to open. So it's um, my inspiration for today. Uh, I hope you enjoy this, um, and... Uh, and just paint along, or you can uh, watch me paint. Uh, the first thing that I'm doing is I usually put in my backgrounds first. I like to build from the background out. Um, sometimes I do work from the top down, but on this one I'm working from the background to the foreground. And I'm using a warm green. And usually in my classes I get into more information about specific colors that I'm using. Um, so uh, on this one, I did go in with a little bit of um, cad yellow light on this one. I do uh, use a limited palette. And um, so I have a warm and cool yellow, warm and cool red, warm and cool blue. Here I'm just putting in some gestures for uh, the flower shape itself. I've already established my flows. So now I'm just uh, filling in and having fun just doing that. I think one of the most important things I've learned about watercolor over the years uh, as an artist and um, as someone who's very, uh, sort of always done very spontaneous and gestural paintings, um, on, on this particular style, I always try to leave uh, plenty of white space uh, in and around the stem work and my petal work. So uh, as I put that down, you want to be thinking about that at all times. You know, how much uh, white space are you leaving? I do work from tonal sketches. I show the, showcase those a lot in Instagram right now. So even though it is um, something that's intuitive, I do have a plan for it. I don't just, uh, you know, I'm not just totally winging it here. I do have some sort of uh, plan, and it's usually done in a in just a pencil format. So that's um, my tonal sketch that I sort of keep off to the side as my reference, something to follow. Sometimes I do bring real flowers into the studio. Uh, on this case, I I did have that, but um, I mainly work from a tonal sketch. Now, I don't always stick exactly to the tonal sketch, but at least it gives me some place to start and I have some sort of ideas to where I want um, the composition to be going. And I think it's important to address that. Uh, you, you have to be thinking about that, meaning what kind of composition are we going to be doing? <laughs> Uh, here I am going in with a pencil and um, just putting some additional line work in. Gives a little bit more of a fullness to the painting. And even though I don't usually fill them in with color, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I see, uh, I, I, I sort of do, a, uh, as I'm looking at it, I do an assessment as to what I think needs to happen. And on this one, I already have a lot of color down and I have a, an a awful lot of um, smaller pieces on this one. So I think it just helps to stabilize the painting more to put in a few lines on it. I usually vary the width of the line itself. I think I got into doing those. You know, someone asked me last week, why do you include the, the drawing uh, in, in after you've painted? And I sometimes I just want to finish off the form in some areas uh, versus other areas. So I really, I like that option to kind of put it in. 
and my background was as a, as a professional illustrator. So uh, it's hard to kind of break free completely from pencil for me. So that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to seeing you either here or in one of my classes. Thanks so much. Bye.